like in the previous volumes of one and two, where we looked at each one had uh, different guards that were passing, I always include the chain passing. And it's important to understand what that means, okay? Uh, when we're passing, uh, it's almost impossible to bank off of one pass by itself, okay? Um, everything needs to intertwine. And the way uh, I've done these instructionals, uh, one through right now is three, you're going to be able to shift between each one and na navigate, okay? Continually chaining from one to the other. It doesn't mean in each volume we talk about how you chain a generic version, uh, or you do this, this, and this, and then you chain this, this, and this. You can chain these however you want, as long as you follow the body structure and what they're doing and how to negate it, which, which we explain in each one. But it's super important to remember that you can use passing, uh, like we did in the previous section, reverse delahiva, delahiva into a knee cut to chain to an over under to a hip scoop. Okay, so it's important, not just this value. Okay, if it was just this volume right now, we would just go, okay, we can chain in to knee cut. I come around, boom, I do the stack, he drops. I can do the over under, okay, he goes here. I scoop, I come around, and we start doing those motions just based off of this, uh, this value, right, where we're passing, okay? It can be as simple as him doing bell heave, oh, I negate it. Okay, now I know he's gonna switch. Okay, boom, I break. Okay, now I knee cut, now I scoop, now I come around, now he goes all fours, back take, anything like this can be. Okay, he does bell heave, okay, I gotta scoop under, I'm scooping to that knee cut. Okay, boom, there's the over under, pin, pinch, go through here. Every single volume has its own chain passing that you can do and you can mix it up and intertwine it as you see fit. But more than that, all the volumes coincide with each other. They exist in the same realm. So you can use all the stuff from volume one into two, into three, or three into two, into one. So make sure that when you look at this instructional, you're taking the time to chain the passes as is in each part, but also as a whole for each volume, okay? Because the more you have your chain passes, one to the other, to the next, to the next, the harder it's gonna be for somebody to keep up with that, okay? Six chains is better than two chains, and eight chains is better than, you know, three chains, okay? So just make sure you're really paying attention to how you chain it, and know that even though they're in sequence in a certain position in this instructional, that you can take them out of order and put them in where you need to put them in, or take those and put it in with other values.